Sundays on Broadway tonight We're Drinking cold beer and it feels so right I'll meet you out on Broadway underneath Shamrock Light We're Gonna have a good time on the patio tonight There's a party down at Kelly's on Broadway tonight We're Drinking cold beer on a champagne night We're feeling all alone and you got no place to go place to eat and drink 2902 Broadway Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad. Joining me today, Dora Sanders with Encore. Welcome. Thank you. Of course. So Encore, I know um, among many other things, you are the volunteer organization for the Quincy Symphony yes. Orchestra, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So can you give um, the viewers slash listeners and myself a little more information about um, who Encore is and, and what y'all do? Well, we are a group of ladies who meet the third Tuesday at Tiramisu because we do like to have the social aspect. Yeah of our organization but our primary focus is for music education in the tri-state area and we have a young artist competition and that artist gets to play with the symphony orchestra for our february concert and that's for 10th through 12th graders okay. every summer we give 10 scholarships, $500 a piece to students 7th through 12th grade to attend the music camp of their choice. Oh, wow. And so we like to do that. We also underwrite um, both the Quincy Public School Music Program and the Parochial School Music Program. So we give them a check. So Excellent. Um, that's just some of the things we do besides yeah. supporting the organizations under our umbrella, which is the Symphony Orchestra, the Symphony Chorus, the Youth Orchestra and Youth Chorus and Kinder Corps. Perfect. All in the name of, you know, getting the word out about how wonderful it is to be a part of music in our community, right? Our, our, our community is a big, strong supporter of music, and we feel like if we put this effort into the education now, we will have artists to perform with us um, into the adult orchestra yeah. and chorus. So. Absolutely, the future of yeah. it, for sure. So um, Encore, you know, the, the volunteer group that helps mm -hmm. put on Quincy Symphony, mm -hmm. uh, I love going to see this I mean it's it's become kind of a tradition um I know that it's it's not easy right so it does take a village to put this it all does. together uh and you have something really cool coming up this year now is this your first year you've done this, this? is our fifth year fourth, fifth year fourth? fourth year okay fourth year okay and that is um it's the battle for the baton yes so give me a little information about what the battle for the baton so is. so a battle for the baton is um we have local celebrities that are vying for the chance to direct the actual symphony orchestra on sleigh ride at our christmas spectacular concert on december 6th okay so they get votes by ten dollars a piece mm -hmm. and um, they do it by just asking individuals and we get corporate sponsorships for them and one with the most money or votes wins okay now do they all know how to actually conduct an orchestra no okay that would be my question because i'm like am i gonna screw things up if i get up there no no because um dr bruce briney our maestro will give them a conducting lesson prior to that and um, they will have a chance to work with the orchestra twice before I love it yeah so fun so now how many contestants do you or how many we have four contestants okay. running okay. this year all right and can you name all of yes, them yes I okay. can so our first contestant is Tina Moyer and she is from the Adams County Sheriff's Department she's a corrections officer mm -hmm. and we have Bill Stalder who's from Adams uh, Electric Co-op and we have Megan Peters who is a beautiful singer and actress yes, she is. and we also have Dr. Todd Pettit the superintendent of schools fun so quite the lineup, yes. and people can vote, and like you said, it's $10 a vote. Where do they vote? Okay, they can vote to the candidate directly. Okay. They can walk into our office at 1026 Main Street, just right down the road here, okay. and there are uh, ballots and places to put that there. Okay. Um, they can go online to EncoreQuincy.com. Click on events, battle for the baton, and that will take you directly to a voting page and the co contestant's picture and, and uh, a little tap to vote. And you can do PayPal, credit card, Venmo. Can you vote as many times as you want? You can vote early and often. Perfect. Yes. I love it. And I think we have a couple of these yes. contestants here today yes. that we're going to talk to in just yes. a minute. So um, anything else about the, the, the Quincy Symphony Orchestra or anything else that you want to talk about before we bring in our contestants? No. Okay. We're All right. Thrilled. Well, uh, just make sure you get out there and vote because yes, yeah, please. that's what's going to make um, that's what's gonna make it fun and also bring awareness and some uh, 
support for for our local community yes. with, with music, right? Yes. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Doris. Thanks. And we'll bring those contestants on in just a second. Stay tuned. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite appetizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carryout is available too. Now with the convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Welcome out to Kelly's on Broadway tonight. We're drinking cold beer and it feels so right. I'll meet you out on Broadway underneath Shamrock Light. We're gonna have a good time on the patio tonight. There's a party down at Kelly's on Broadway tonight. We're drinking cold beer on a champagne night. We're feeling all the place to eat and drink. 2902 Broadway. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area. Perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. The Tower, a great place to meet and eat. But did you know the Tower has one of the finest drink selections in our area? Along with its incredible Mexican menu, the Tower specializes in tequilas for every taste. Names like Patron, Cabo Wabo, and Hornitos. And don't forget the margaritas. On Mondays and Tuesdays, stop by and pick up a single topping pizza and get Tower margaritas to go. Enjoy the Tower at home or in our dining room, bar area, or the Tower's signature climate-controlled porch. The Tower Pizza and Mexican in Quincy. And welcome back with me now, two contestants vying for the baton, right? So you guys are going to be the, uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to be, hopefully one of you is going to be the guest conductor for the Quincy Symphony Orchestra performance on, was it December 6th? Is that it right? Is, okay. Yes. Um, how fun. So I was asking Doris before, do you have to know how to conduct? She says no, thank goodness, right? That's a true <laughs> statement because I, I don't have any rhythm yeah, whatsoever. Me either. So. Yeah, yeah, so you and, get up there and you're like, oh gosh, I'm... But yeah. to me, that's the fun of this competition. And Dr. Pettit has a musical background. So yeah. What fun is that? You need to vote for one of us who has <laughs> no musical ability. Yeah, right. For the comedic aspect. Gotta make it, it fun. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. So um, now, Bill Stalder, you are with who again? Uh, Adams oh. Electric Cooperative in Camp yeah. Point. Okay. And uh, Tina, you are with? The Adams County Sheriff's Department. I'm okay. a correctional officer down at the jail. Perfect. So two totally different backgrounds, right? Coming yes. together for, for one reason, and that is the, the music in our community, right? Absolutely. So now what individual, what's your individual why or purpose uh, behind this? I know we said Doris kind of strong-armed you into this, <laughs> but I know there's more of a reason, right? Yes. So um, I grew up with music. I sing. Uh, I played a clarinet all through school. I'm a little older now from that. Um, music has been a huge part of my life. I absolutely love it. Yeah. If I wasn't doing this for a living, I'd be opening shows for Reba McIntyre. There you go. That is my goal. Yay. Um, so music's very important, especially if you if you start young. You can you can it just opens all doors. Um, it helps you escape things. Right. Um, gives you an opportunity to at some point maybe move forward with that. Sure. So I am a huge supporter of music in all aspects yeah i love it and bill obviously much more accomplished <laughs> musician than me i have <laughs> sung in shows um i i play no instruments i i have very little music ability although 
you know, I, I try when the when the part calls for it. Right. But a longtime supporter of the arts in Quincy, uh, mainly through Quincy Community Theater, which all four contestants I find we've we've been in shows yes. together. I've, I've been in shows <laughs> with uh, two or three different shows with Doris. Played her husband. Played her <laughs> Monsignor. Yes. Um, <laughs> Todd has been in shows. Of course, Megan was uh, as recently as last summer with Music Man. So mm-hmm. just a, a big support of the arts. I'm current board president of Arts Quincy. So and 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 Doris is a really hard woman to say no to. Right. So yeah. when this came about and uh, good friends with Nora, Nora Baldner, who was a contestant two years ago, I believe. So I checked with her and she said, Bill, you got to do it. It's a lot of fun. Great cause. Right. Uh, Great cause, lots of fun, uh, yeah. And the and the music is beautiful, even if you don't know how to conduct, right? Correct. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's true too. I was yeah. I actually attended my first ever symphony orchestra concert uh, when we were introduced last month. And I first of all, for a community this size to have an orchestra is, uh-huh. is unheard of, and to have an orchestra <laughs> of Sorry. of this caliber is is wonderful too. So, yeah, yeah. This will be. Uh, uh, won't be my first and last concert. I will be uh, become a supporter of the symphony because it, the talent there is just amazing. It's outstanding. Yeah, incredible. Well, thank you both. Sorry, I got to tickle my throat. Thank you both for being a part of this. It is for a great cause, and the organization is amazing. So um, good luck to both of you. And once again, if they want to vote, where do they go? Do you guys know? EncoreQuincy.com. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See me on the street. Hand me 10 bucks. I'll there make you sure your vote gets I'll take counted. that as well. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Well, Tina and Bill, good luck to both of you. And of course, good luck to all the performers for the uh, Quincy Symphony Orchestra. We love what you're doing. So keep it up. And good luck to both of you. Right. Thank, Thank you. you Absolutely. Coming up next, we get to meet the pet of the week. Stay tuned. And welcome back. Joining me now, Pilar Barumba with the Quincy Humane Society and Ivan. And Ivan is, of course, our pet of the week uh, brought to you uh, by Ryan Bigelow from Farlow Realty and Bill Listener from State Farm. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and of course, Muddy River News partners with Quincy Humane Society on a lot. Um, this is perhaps one of my favorite segments because we actually get to meet uh, one lucky pet of the week at the end of each month, and mm-hmm. um, this month Ivan is here uh, for pet of the week, and he is the sweetest boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about him? Yes. Oh, well, first, I'm, he's just so sweet. So like, sweet. and he just loves love. He loves attention. Yeah. Belly rubs are his favorite. So he's a three-year-old um, pit bull mix. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely some mix in there. Um, yeah. But he's a big boy. But let me tell you, like. Cuddle bug. Oh like, I think so you could, sweet. like, yeah, he loves to play. Um, loves to play. Got lots of energy. If you've got a big yard where he can run and burn some of that off or even a point mate, that would be his ideal. Right. Um, but then again, he also loves to just chill. Yeah, he's very um, What we see in the shelter environment, really for every dog, not just Ivan. Um, they're so different once they get in a home and their routine. And, oh, if I didn't already have four... Ivan would probably be a I was going to say, <laughs> Ivan seems like just a really good fit for anyone. Uh, when he first came in, he was so lovable mm-hmm. uh, and still is. So when he came in, he was a little, you know, more excited. So you can see the playful side. Yes. But now, of course, it seems like he's getting a little more comfortable. So he's mm-hmm. definitely chilled. Uh, yeah. yeah. And he, Ivan kind of thinks he's a lap dog, which is one of my favorite things about big dogs. You know, they don't yes. seem to really know their size, yep. uh, which is so sweet. And I love, ju- I love the love that mm-hmm. these bigger dogs seem to have. And I, I love all dogs, of course, but uh, I'm always partial to bigger dogs. I don't know what okay. it is, uh, but Ivan sure is so sweet, and he's ready for adoption. He is right? so ready for adoption. Come here, Ivan. Come here. He is so ready for adoption. He is ready for a home to call his own. Hello. Oh, yes. Why does this always happen to me, huh? Always on, always on camera. Yes. Yeah. Such a lover. Um, and he does listen. Okay, let's get down. Come on. Good boy. Can you sit? Can you sit? Or are you camera shy? Anyways, very sweet. Yeah, yeah he's, he's 
He's yeah. a good boy and honestly would make a great addition to any family. Yeah. As I have dog slobber all over my face. Yeah. It's I one of the best it, things. I would have it no other way. Um, he's really a good dog. We've got a kennel full of dogs right now. Um, obviously, I've been included. Yeah. So as people, you know, the holidays are getting closer. If you have room in your hearts and your homes, yeah. Um, come, come see us. Yeah. We've got small you yeah uh, um and we've got big boys like ivan um just some really great dogs yeah and cats yeah right and um all ready for adoption all ready to find their forever home so uh go meet ivan and and all the other wonderful animals out of the quincy humane society i think he's in love with you pilar i think you might have to take him home but ivan <laughs> that's amazing you never know job. what's gonna happen here when we sorry really tyler dogs. yeah i love it yeah Friends ivan the is Ivan is ready for adoption. Go meet him and all the other wonderful animals out of the Quincy Humane Society. Take one home today. They are in need of a forever home and so deserving. So uh, go check out Quincy Humane Society. And once again, we want to thank Filter Listener at State Farm Insurance and Ryan Bigelow with Farlow Realty. Uh, we really appreciate you guys partnering with us on this and sponsoring it to make it possible. Let's get these animals home, right? Okay. Thank you, Pilar. Awesome. Appreciate Thanks, it. Absolutely. Well, no all right. We'll catch you next time. Oh, you Thanks so much.